Well, this was rather unexpected. Hello guys, and welcome back to Car Obsession, or should I say Quadricycle Obsession? No, it hasn't quite got the same ring, has it? Why am I saying Quadricycle? Well, that's because I'm joined by the rather quirky Citroen Ami, and this is a Quadricycle, not a car. Now, I'm here in Coventry today to drive the new Citroen C4 and EC4, but I saw this, I thought, I've got to have a go in one of these. Just look at it, look how quirky and friendly it looks. In fact, Ami is French for friend. So yes, this car is all about providing urban mobility, but what is it like to drive? Well, I'm going to take it out for a quick spin and find out. Before I go any further, I just want to correct what I said a few moments ago. I actually pronounced it as quadrocycle, when in fact it is quadricycle. So yes, apologies there. A very small mistake, but one that I wanted to rectify anyway. Also in the next clip, you will hear me refer to the Ami as a car, but of course that is incorrect because this is a quadricycle. But you know, old habits die hard. I spend pretty much all of my time testing cars and this is in fact the first quadricycle I have ever driven. So yes, um, old habits die hard, I'm sorry. Now quickly, before I do get in the car, some of you may have noticed this is a left hooker. Yes, there we go, it is left-hand drive. Quite interestingly, check this out. So, the passenger door is conventional, opens up like you would expect, nothing unusual there, but let me bring you around to the driver's side. You will see this door is a suicide door. Just look at that, look how cool that is. Oh, it's about to close. Now the cabin is very minimalistic. Uh, you'll have to excuse my mess. Uh, this car doesn't have a boot, so I've had to sling my filming stuff in the uh, passenger footwell. But let me just squeeze myself in. Well, I say squeeze, this car is like a TARDIS. Um, <laughs> you've got lots of natural light coming in, thanks to this uh, glass panel at the front. And although I'm six foot two, if I turn you guys around, you will see, but well, I've got plenty of room. Um, do I feel cramped in this? No, I don't. And look, you've even got space for a passenger. Um, so yeah, let me let me show you the dashboard. I say dashboard, I use the term loosely because, uh, well, that is it. So you've got a button for your hazards, heater and the uh, uh, heated screen. Got a smartphone holder, a hook where you can hang up some bags, a uh, cup holder here, some Lego there. <laughs> Uh, it's not Lego, obviously, but that's what it looks like. I've got the little bit in there. There we are. You've got your uh, indicators, controls here, and your lights, and also the <coughs> horn, which sounds really loud, because obviously there's not much uh, soundproofing in this car, so the horn is actually quite alarming. Um, right, what else? So you have this uh, little instrument cluster in front of you. Oh, that's one of my GoPros turning off. Um, yeah, very minimalistic in regards to the information. Obviously, you can't really see it. Cause, uh, there we go, that's better. Uh, it's, it's zoomed in now, where well, it's in focus, I should say. So as you can see, this is in kilometres. Now, this is a French car, of course, built for the French market. There is a chance that this car will come to the UK, but if it does, it will, it will remain uh, left-hand drive to, to keep costs down. Speaking of which, if I just step outside the car again, actually. Sorry, not car, quadricycle. Give, give it a pull. Now, this is quite interesting. The front bumper is exactly the same shape and design as the rear bumper, so they are interchangeable. The same goes for the doors. So if I wanted to, I could put that door and put it straight onto the other side. They are interchangeable. The same goes for these glass windows. Although it's, you've got the, um, the graphics on it, it is exactly the same size as this one here. So the car is almost, almost symmetrical. Take you back inside. There we go. Uh, you've got your driving controls down there. So you've got drive, neutral or reverse or race mode. Obviously not race mode, that's a joke, by the way, guys. Manual handbrake, door bins, and that's pretty much your lot. Let me climb straight back in. Uh, so this has a range of 43 miles and the top speed is 28 miles per hour. Uh, this can't even hit 30, but this car, what? No, Aaron, it's not a car. This quadricycle is all about urban mobility. So the idea is that you don't have to get on a bike or get on the tube or get on the bus. Uh, you have your own kind of bubble, quite literally. Um, you can transport your way around your local town center or city center, and you don't have to rely on public transport, which in this uh, current climate is bound to appeal to some. Anyway, let me uh, hook up my cameras and we'll go for a short drive. 
quite simple to start. Foot on the brake, turn the key, should hear a beep. There we go, good to go. Into drive, manual handbrake down. And yes, away we go in the Citroen Ami. <laughs> now you, you, you simply can't say this car isn't quirky. If you look up quirky in the dictionary, I'm pretty sure there'd be a picture of one of these. What a weird and wonderful little thing. Now, yes, as, I, as I said, this is not a car, therefore it can't really be judged or reviewed as a car because, well, it's just so unusual. For start, it is, it is tiny. I don't know whether, whether to drive this thing or to wear it. One thing I've got to mention, this has no airbag because of course it's a, it's a quadricycle, therefore the rules for making these kind of cars is different. I just wait to be released by someone at Citroen HQ. Let me out. Powering the Ami is a six kilowatt motor. That's just eight horsepower in case you're wondering. And the power is fed from a very small dinky 5.5 kilowatt hour battery. In regards to charging times, it will take around three hours using a traditional three pin socket. And that is the only way you can charge it. At the time of recording, the Ami is not available in the UK, not yet anyway, but to give you an idea of cost, in France it will cost you €6,000. To convert that to sterling, you'd be looking at around £5,200. However, in France there is also the option to rent it on a long term or you can have it as part of a car sharing program. Well, I suppose I should say a quadricycle sharing program. Interestingly, as part of the sharing program, you don't have to own a license to drive it, and in France at least, you can drive it from just 14 years old. Now the ride is a little bit jiggly, but let's face it, this car's got an insanely short wheelbase, so that isn't really a complaint, it's more of an observation. Right, let's test the acceleration. Now this will be an interesting test. Dead end. I need to turn the car around. I've been told this car has an insanely short turning circle. Let's have a look. Wow, that's impressive. It almost turns in its in its own width, so to speak. The good thing about this car is providing that you drive it in a 30 mile per hour zone, you can floor it everywhere and you'll never break the speed limit. It's as if it's got its own inbuilt speed limiter. Fantastic. For those of you scoffing at the top speed of just 28 miles per hour, let me put it this way, the Ami is designed for town or city centers. Therefore, you simply don't need a lot of speed. In fact, one UK study found that the average speed in these kind of areas is around 12 miles per hour. Therefore, 28 miles per hour it is ample, it, it is plenty. That is more than what you actually need. The Ami is very easy to drive, so if you do want something to nip in and, in and around town, and you want it to be pretty cost effective, you don't really need any, any frills or anything like that, then this could well be the car for you. <laughs> this has to go down as one of the quirkiest weirdest things I've ever driven but at the same time it's fantastic oh a bit of uphill come on come on you can do it come on that's 42 kilometers per hour I have no idea how that translates into King's English so Queen's English I should say come on come on we made it and now I've got a, a small queue of traffic behind me. Now it goes without saying, this is not the kind of car that you'd want to be taken on the motorway or anything like that. This is purely a town car, a city car. And I do hope you can hear me because the electric motor is a, is a little bit vocal. I think that's safe to say. <laughs> My thoughts is literally welded 
to the bottom of the uh, of the floor. <laughs> Just nothing's happening. All right. I may have to cut this short because of the battery on my camera is starting to die, which is annoying because it's giving me very little warning. Right, away we go. Right, around the roundabout. Oh, oh, falling out my seat. Right, I think I need to be in that lane. <laughs> what a what a, a what a mad little thing. Well, I'm, I'm glad I've driven it because, um, yeah, it's it's got character. You can't deny that. So, time to end there, guys. Just a short little drive, just a bit of fun, really, for the channel. I do hope you enjoyed it. If so, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you are subscribed, don't forget to click the bell icon so you get notified every time I make a video. But until the next time, guys, be sure to keep up the car obsession. <laughs>